Hey, John. Hey, Rich. What do you got here? I'm toying around with the uh, Sim Siemens Simatic Microdrive. Microdrive? What? Uh, you know, we talk about drives all the time. What's what's different about a microdrive? Uh, the microdrive, in the form factor, microdrive, um, smaller motors. Um, microdrive comes in uh, two form factors. Um, there's the PDC version I have here, and then uh, there's a version for a flavor for the ET200 SP. Uh, PLC line. Okay, so so, so micro drive is this thing turning induction motors? Is it turning servo motors? What are we talking about? Servo motors and sometimes stepper motors, um, all low voltage, 24, 48 volts. Low voltage, so, that's interesting. So, so three phase power wouldn't necessarily be a requirement for this system. Correct, yep. Okay. Um, yeah, I had an application recently where somebody wanted to be able to plug the machine into the wall and so now you could do a 120 volt to 48 volt or 72 volt power supply and that would be able to supply power to this system. Correct. Okay, yep. all right. Correct. And form factors both, you know, here almost like that S7-1200 looking uh, device uh, and then also in the ET200 SP form factor in the little slice slice I.O. Correct. All right, sweet. Um, what, uh, what kind of applications, where do you, where do you see this thing fitting? Um, automated guided vehicles, um, medical industry, um, anywhere where you'd use, uh, where, where the requirements are uh, like a very low voltage, safety low voltage. Okay. All right, yeah, so in the battery situations, it sounds like. So AGVs, you don't have AC voltage necessarily available. You got batteries on board. This guy could be, could be used in that situation. That's correct. So I see there's yellow on, on this uh, micro drive. Does that have safety included? Yep, there's a safe, uh, fail safe version, the F version. Okay, so you can you can buy it with safety or without safety. That's correct. All right, and obviously you can control the safe torque off of the of the motor then over you know through PLC based communications over Profinet. If it's a safety PLC, correct. Got it. Okay. All right. Cool. Thing. The motor you got here pretty doggone small. You know, especially when I think about the other lines of servo motors that we work with. Um, you know, so so. Safe to assume super low torque for applications? It is very low torque, um, but you usually use a gearbox with those as well. Okay. So uh, there's a gear reduction involved. So, so we can we can torque. get these with, with a gearbox from the factory? That's correct. Oh, cool. Not okay. from Siemens. Siemens doesn't make motors that small. Uh, it's third party motors and the cables as well. Oh, okay, so, so we're, the, the drives are a Siemens product, but the motor and the cable that we have here is not Siemens product. That's correct. Okay, and, and so what, what, what do we got here for manufacturers from a cabling and motor perspective? Uh, this is a Dunker motor, motor and uh, Nortec cables, uh, both of which PCC cells. Oh, okay, so we don't have to send somebody, somebody somewhere else to go get the cabling and the motor. We can take care of the complete system That's for correct. the customer. Yep. Awesome, all right. Um, where, I mean, cost-wise, does this line up uh, as, as a less expensive solution than the AC versions? Is it about the same for the given torque? Where do, where do you see that stuff? Uh, it's less. It is yeah, less. it's lower. Okay. And I see that you're running it with the 1500T processor. So all the same PLC open blocks and functionality that we do here uh, with, with the, all the drives that we're used to using, same idea with the micro drives. That's correct. Really? Okay. All right. Sweet. All right, well, great. Thanks a lot for your time. Yeah, no problem, Rich.